we, we find ourselves really in, in, the, in the heyday of Nutcliffe Mill and Hebden Bridge and the textile industry in, in these narrow Pennine valleys. They peaked round about the turn of the century and they carried on full blast into the First World War, which of course was a, a terrible experience for all communities. The, the numbers of young men who died in that war were, was colossal, far, far more than the Second World War and uh, the, the damage it did to society uh, and to trade. Uh, this was coupled at Nutcliffe Mill by the fact that it depended very largely on exports and exports to uh, countries that continued to be in turmoil, like Germany and Russia. And so those markets were completely lost. The company did struggle on for some time. The textile industry overall began to recover in the 1920s and very large factories were built on flatter land near the uh, towns and cities of uh, of Manchester and Leeds on the two sides of the Pennines. The mills in the uh, in the tight valleys, in the hills where they'd first started on water power uh, and on the back of the domestic industry of the local inhabitants, they weren't able to expand to the same extent and they began to decline e even during the, the national resurgence. The Nutcliffe Mill and the Fustian uh, Cooperative eventually joined the Cooperative Wholesale Society based in Manchester. And so it became one factory of quite a number of factories owned by this, this much, much larger cooperative, which has blossomed and still exists today with its headquarters still in Manchester and the parallel development of the Cooperative Bank and so on. So the, the theme, the, the purpose that these people started continues to, uh, to this day. The textile industry, unfortunately, hasn't in the form that it used to be. The Depression period, again, sapped its strength, but it lost impetus greatly during the Second World War. The textile industry of Great Britain used to supply the world, and later it supplied the empire, which then became the Commonwealth. During the war, we were cut off from those markets. We were engaged in fighting battles for our lives and it was not safe to send commercial cargoes across the seas because they were going to be torpedoed and so on. So whereas up to 1939 we supplied textiles to India, by 1945 India was making textiles and very soon supplying them to us at a, a much lower cost than we could produce them because of their lower labour costs. And the textile industry generally went into a decline. In this valley, the small factories owned by families and small cooperatives, they really suffered. Between 1955 and 1965, almost all the textile factories in the Hebden Bridge area closed permanently. Doors shut, locked up, everybody gone away, allowed to stand there and decay attacked by vandals, entered by squatters, and many of them caught fire, and they were standing there as gaunt, semi-burnt-out reminders to a life that had been. It was a sad, sad time to live in this town. <laughs>